Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. It's Friday. Whoa. Yeah. Friday again. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, I am starting the, I don't know, I call it a landscape Tai Chi. And we're starting up here in the upper corner-ish, in that first part that kind of goes real, yeah. And the number is 3842. It's kind of a, a dark teal. Yeah. So, yep, it's the weekend. It's already been a morning. I woke up and kind of heard a rumble and I was like, what the hell? You know, maybe it was just a truck, and yeah, I didn't think too much about it, and looked outside, and yeah, it was crappy looking, looked like it was going to pour, it didn't, it didn't at all, it just sprinkled for a little bit, and I came back inside, drank some more coffee, and then I hear a car door slam, and I hear somebody start a weed whacker. Well, I went out there and it was my daughter. Bless her little heart. She came and weed whacked my, my lot and got that done in about 10 minutes. It, it didn't take very long at all because there's absolutely no grass out there. It's all kind of crabby grass, if you will. And uh, here we are now. Yesterday morning... Uh, well, yeah, it was morning. It was about 10 to 10.30, somewhere around there. My daughter and I went into town, and we went and had lunch at the, uh, oh, what is it? The uh, truck stop. We They have little pizzas. They have a Godfather's pizza there. So we had little pizzas, and then we went down to the tractor supply place because she was looking for some cat, what well, not vitamins, but the things that you uh, give them for fleas and ticks and stuff like that. This was for that man that's the paraplegic. And uh, she wanted to price it, so she had to take some pictures of some items. You know, she, I told you, you know, she takes care of him, so to speak. I mean, as far as getting his meds and getting stuff for the house. And he's got chickens and guineas, and she gets the, um, the feed and all that stuff for him down at the tractor supply place. So I ended up buying a five gallon bucket and a bag of that um miracle grow dirt to uh put i was going to put the dirt in the bucket and plant my tomato plants and my uh pepper plants because i got two cayenne i got another cayenne there and i have one serrano peppers because i take when the cayenne peppers come and they're ready to pick I let them dry and then I uh, pulverize them I have a little crusher thing so and I put them you know in my thing so I have cayenne to use when uh, I'm cooking so we got that and then we went to the uh, thrift store and I found Three little, I believe they're sake cups. This one's got a little something, something on it. But here, I'll show you the picture. Whoops. Get a little bit closer. It has a tree and a Mount Fuji, I'm assuming. And then there's like a little lake in there. So there's two little Chinese boat or Japanese boats. But they're all three the same. And I found, let's see if I can get them out of there. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll just put them on my shelf as a collection. But I found three spools of silk thread. 
So, don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So, we'll see. But that was base. Oh, and I got a... Oh, I don't know. This says... Uh, Nile... Belding... Corici? Cor Corti Corticelli? And... It says nylon thread, one ounce, size zero. But I just thought this was kind of different looking. So, you know, odds and ends and stuff. It'll go with my my things. We used to shop at Kresge's. SK Kresge's. When I was a little kid back in Illinois. They always had lots of cool looking crap. You know, them and Woolworth, you know. So that's all that we found. Oh, I got one of those little cat houses that's made out of a meshy material. It's got three holes in it, you know, like one in the top and one on the sides and then one on the other side. But it's just like a square box. It's about a foot by foot by foot. So, yeah. See if the cat that struck her. Oh, and the other thing that I got at the... Uh, tractor supply place was some of that corrugated I don't know what you call it now when we were at Walmart there was a round thing and it had a piece of corrugated you know it was all coiled up and flat and it was like a scratching thing well this is about mm, 16 20 inches across and about mm, six or eight inches wide that they can just scratch on yeah, I put it in front of the the cat litter to see if, you know, it would entice her to do anything. And, yeah, I tripped over it five times last night, so I put it on the side. And you can hang it on a door because it's long and skinny. Or you can put it on the ground. So, we don't have many doorknobs around here. There's one for the bathroom door, and there's one for, there's a door for my bedroom. But the other two rooms have no doors on there. Yeah, I know. They barely mess this place up, but it just kind of works for me, so I just live with it. It doesn't bother me one way or another. So, yeah, that that was the sum total of that. And then later on, I went back to the store because, you know, she didn't want to stop at the grocery store and picked up some stuff. I had my ribs for dinner and came home because I just am not about leaving this house except to go get the mail, and that's about it yet. Oh, this is from Paint Some Way, if you didn't know. So, yeah. So, that was the sum total of my running around, and I did not even get... I got maybe a 45-minute nap. Nothing. Yeah, I just couldn't lay down. Had too much stuff on my brain, I guess. Beats the heck out of me. <clears throat> and I, by the time I got to bed last night... I was so tired I couldn't sleep, you know, I just, I don't think I fell asleep until 3 o'clock in the morning, so, yeah, and I was up by, hmm, 8.30, quarter to 9-ish, so, yeah, it was funny, I heard the cat, you know, she was kind of meowing, said, oh, it's that time, okay, I'll get up. It's, it's like instantaneously I'm awake, but I was just kind of laying there and laying on my back and she came over to the side and like she was going to jump up on the, the the bed. She I never did that. I was like, get up, lady, get up, get up, get up. I'm like, okay, I'm up. Yeah, it's a good thing I got up because within about 15, 20 minutes, my daughter was here. So, yeah. And I know I had talked to her about it yesterday. About her coming and doing that. Because it doesn't take any time at all. So, she does my yard and 
um, that guy that's the paraplegic, she does part of his area. Because other than that, he has cars all over. He collects cars and taxis and trucks and yeah. And he's like my age. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, he likes to get vehicles, different vehicles. So yeah, guess who gets to inherit all that when he crosses? Yeah, my son-in-law. My daughter is more than thrilled because he's probably got 50 to 75 cars on that property of his. So there's not much, you know, what do you call it? <sighs> Weed whacking to do. So she does that and does uh, my son-in-law's mother. Mother's, um, she lives in a trailer too, but not here where I live. She lives on the other side of town. So she's got a small yard. It takes her 10 or 15 minutes. So she just runs around and does everybody's weed whacking. So she had to go and help a friend go get some stuff on a trailer to take down. We have a an auction on Saturdays and my daughter and son-in-law they know him they've known him for years and uh, so she had to go run and do that she wasn't gonna load up the trailer the guy that needed all that stuff taken was going to load it up for her and then they were going to take it to the auction and he was going to unload it and everything so yeah fun times I debated for 10 minutes on what color I was going to start with and I wanted to start with the reds you know on the houses but they were such a small area I opted for this purple symbol it's so much easier to just keep stitching you know instead of stopping and starting and all that crap so whoops wrong last night I worked on the tulip for a while I about got one of the tulips done on that stained glass thing but yeah I was pretty tired night before I didn't sleep well so it was like I was just fried yesterday I don't know how I got done everything I needed to do I put ribs in the crock pot and got that all done and I uh, hang on went the wrong way uh Took out all the trash, cleaned out some of the stuff, you know, that needed to go out of the refrigerator. I'm telling you, it was a ripping day. I was so tired, and I just had so much to do, and it was kind of strung out everywhere that by the time I even thought about taking a nap, that didn't happen, because it was already 5.30, 6 o'clock. I tried to lay down. I didn't even fall asleep. Nope. I guess in my brain I'm thinking don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep because then you won't go to bed until 4 o'clock in the morning. See? So, here we are. We're doing this. So, I finally fell asleep, I guess, at 3 o'clock and I slept like a rock, but yeah. She was a pretty colored blue-green or teal or there's actual color you can see that I can't tell if it looks like teal or if it looks like a royal blue you know in the camera sometimes it changes the color but it's actually a teal color
Ah. I hate it. It gets to the end. I did put on some of this hand lotion that one of my viewers sent me. I love this stuff. But I leave it up here because my hands are always dry. And then I had to move that the dirt into that bucket yesterday. Oh my gosh. My hands felt like I'd been out digging concrete yesterday. So Needed more hand lotion. I've been sucking it up lately. I have one over there by my uh, where I stitch because sometimes I just can't deal. So I watched a little floss tube, watched a little YouTube, I watched the uh, movie, you know, like they remade the cartoon into a real movie with real people like they did Aladdin. Um, so I watched Mulan last night and then I went to bed. I went to bed at like 12.30, but yeah, couldn't fall asleep. I listened to music. I listened to meditation. Yeah, nothing was happening. Finally, I just turned it all off and went to bed just gave up I guess sounds like it's lightly sprinkling out there the sun's out now it's all clear across the mountains but earlier today it was all angry looking it's all dark and like it was just gonna come a toad straggling gully washer didn't do a thing sprinkle sprinkle yeah need a little bit of something to knock the dust down because when it gets dry and it hasn't rained there's just dirt you know that wind blows and oh my god we have like mini dust storms at work like across the way they have like a whole parking lot that's nothing but um dirt you know i think they're going to get um what do you call, i want to call it tarmac but you know covered with Asphalt, that's the word, asphalt. Yeah, so, yay. Oh, gosh. I watched one of those true crime, I, I guess it was a TV show, I have no idea, but it's in parts. So I watched that for a while, and after a while it was starting to get to me, so I was like, eh, okay, nope, I'm done. You can only watch it so long. I mean, I like how they figure out crimes and stuff like that, but after, I don't know, it, it's just a little much for me. Not that I ever feel like I'm afraid here. I'm not. I got a lot of faith in God. Believe me. Takes care of me when I do stupid things, you know? But And, you know, it's always there, so... Works for me. So, I just... I've never felt afraid in this place. And being by myself, you know? I don't know, but then I watch those true crime things at night, you know. I'm like, okay, is the door locked? Curtains are all drawn, you know. You start getting it like kind of an attitude, and then it goes away. So. I like this because it's got some bigger areas to stitch. Sorry, we're, we worked our way into this little corner over here. I'm going to flip it so we can work right there. So anybody got any grand old plans? I even got dirt under my nails. I just cl clipped my nails so they're real short. and drove that dirt underneath it. I washed and washed and washed my nails. I was irritated, needless to say. 
I have to figure out which way I turned that. So we don't want to mess it up. Yeah, I was shocked we didn't find anything at the the thrift store yesterday. Nothing that I needed to drag on. And of course, since I went we went to that um oh, what do you call it? tractor supply place yesterday. And I bought a bucket for like five or six bucks. Yeah, of course, at the thrift store, they had plenty of things I could have planted all that crap in. But I was like, I am not going back. I don't have it in me. To heck with it. It's spent. Well, when I told you that that uh, thrift store moved from one, you know, location to another. And when they got to this new place, they didn't have outdoor stuff like that. You know, they had, at the old place, they had a, we'll call it, a, it was about the size of a very small house. You know, where they had furniture and they had pictures and they had a whole room that was nothing but all different kinds of chairs. And, uh. Yeah, they didn't have that here. So, I asked her, I said, well, do you have, you know, outdoor stuff now, you know? And then outside of that old place, they had, like, they'd have grills if they had them, or lawn chairs, and they had a whole section of, you know, those kids, uh, what is it, tiny, tiny tykes type toys, you know, and riding things like the big wheels and whatever, you know, toddler stuff out there, but, yeah. So, oh well, we're good. My daughter bought a, a lemon tree. I don't know how well that's going to go over, but it's just a little bitty thing. I said, well, don't expect any lemons for about three, four years. I don't know if she was going to plant it in the ground or not. You know. And she put her tomatoes. We got tomato plants when we went to Walmart last last Thursday, I think. So she, and her husband, my son in law, uh, likes peppers too, so she got a couple pepper plants for him as well. So, yeah, we were all fools that day. So, we'll see how long they last and if they get grown. Her tomato plants are looking better than mine, but we'll see if they even bear any fruit. And just give it a moment. All right, guys. Well, we got that part and you got all that purple blah, 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 everywhere it's like oh my goodness yep all right guys well thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye keep stitching